In 24 hours, the fans will be taking their seats at Eden Park or where you are right now, in front of the telly. It is the opening of the Rugby World Cup. This is our best chance to match the achievement of the 1987 All Blacks. One of the players from that victorious team is here tonight, 24 years ago. The AB faced the French, and the French are back. Their fans arriving en masse today. Matt Chisholm met up with some of them as they touched down in Auckland. The French have arrived and en masse. Very excited. It's a dream of children. How many French people have you brought here for the Rugby World Cup? Uh, in total, 2,830. How many in camp events? Uh, around 800. <laughs> Of the 120 camper vans cruising out the gate of the South Auckland depot today, more than 100 will be driven by tricolour supporters. We call it uh, the trip of, of your life on the rugby planet. Who may just find our Kiwi lingo a little tricky. Are you chomping at the bit? No, I don't bet. No, <laughs> no because if I put a lot of money on France, uh, I should win a lot if we win. <laughs> Do you think France can win this Rugby World Cup? Mm, I think they will play the final against uh, New Zealand, I think. <laughs> Their first taste of Aotearoa, perhaps a foreshadowing of things to come. This otherwise dull camper van depot transformed into a fan zone. What do you make of our Cordon Bleu cuisine? Ah, oh, it's the first time, so... I'll tell you after. OK, let's go. Okay. Down the hatch. I try. Yes. Mustard, please. And as for their digs for the next three weeks, well... Oh! Can you fit? Uh, there's a problem. <laughs> Patrick, you're a big man. See you later. <laughs> you push me, you push. <laughs>